All right, so here we go. We're going to use uh, my Ox CNC to cut uh, Dollar Tree foam board. Uh, I was actually able to find some colored foam board. Uh, that is actually Adam's foam board. Um, at one of my off, uh, <laughs> one of the off stores here around a local area. Um, but what I'm using here, let's talk about my setup a little bit, what I have going on. I am using uh, the Bosch Colt router. I was able to find a 1 32nd, uh, one flute uh, bit to use, which works absolutely, totally, completely awesome. Um, if you don't have a drag knife, this is a good way to go ahead and, and do this and make it work. Um, for the Bosch guys that are using the Bosch, Set the uh, router speed to 1, it's absolutely as low as it'll go, uh, and I found that uh, 125 uh, uh, inches a minute IPM is the best that I found that actually works very, very well. Um, I also built my own vacuum table out of uh, MDF board, uh, just went ahead and made a bunch of ditches and slots in the back side. And, drilled holes in the top side, flipped it over, and went to Home Depot and bought some of these uh, garden fittings, these uh, little elbow fittings and stuff for, uh, I think they were 31 cents each, Kim? 39. 39 cents each, so that's pretty cheap. Uh, let me come back here. Crush. Um, I made a, a manifold block. I have a whole bunch of uh, three-quarter inch uh, plywood laying around at work. We use a lot of it, so uh, I have a lot of scrap. And uh, I was able to go ahead and make basically a bunch of squares, <laughs> and uh, made a cap for the cap for the ends. Uh, so the squares are cut out in the middle. You know, you got the big square and the little square in the middle, and it's this way through all these middle pieces. And then just uh, cut an opening out here for the hose, and drilled all the holes here. Again, we have the uh, cheap. Uh, fittings from Home Depot uh, that actually work extremely well. Uh, this isn't finished yet. I gotta get it all cleaned up and everything. This is just uh, like this, just to get this working for right now. But um, just bought some hose and ball valves all work. The table is actually set up to where it has uh, four zones: uh, one, two, three, and four. And I can actually turn it off accordingly to what I want here on the valve setup. Uh, but uh, we're going to be cutting the uh, Bloody Wonder uh, foam wing is what we're going to be doing here. Uh, my son's going to help me out. Uh, Cameron, go ahead and turn the vacuum on. And I apologize in advance. We're going to hear the vacuum running the whole time. So uh, turn your sound down right now if you like. Uh, but let's go ahead and get this going. All right, boy. Go ahead and turn it on.
go ahead and turn off the vacuum. So here we are, we got this all cut out. Now, something I forgot to mention a little bit earlier. Uh, when we cut these, we cut them in two passes. Um, the first pass is to do nothing more than, uh, than to break the paper up top. That's all that it's there for. Uh, as you can see, my son's pulling all the pieces out here. I just don't have these tabbed yet, but uh, the first the first cut, uh, hand me one of those scrap pieces, Kim. The first cut is to cut the top layer of the paper, and the second pass is uh, to you know you go down to full depth and cut the rest of the, uh, the rest of the foam and the paper on the other side. Now. The thing that I've really noticed when doing this with the one, the single flute, is you get this uh, little bit of a it looks like a chewed edge there, um, and it's that way all the way around on all your on all your stuff and this little bit of frayed paper. Now I use a heat iron, a uh, covering iron, to go ahead and roll the edges of the uh, paper around and uh, just a little bit of sandpaper it takes care of these little bit of rough edges and as you can see we got uh, chips I guess you could say from the from the foam uh, we got that all around and that's a good thing that means it's cutting and not melting its way through uh, one of the nice things about having that single flute bit uh, I also use a two flute uh, if you're going to use a two flute you're going to use a Dremel tool uh, to bring the speed down more. Uh, the Bosch Colt only goes down to 16,000 RPM and uh, the uh, Dremel router will, or the Dremel tool will end up bringing you down to the uh, desired 10 to 12,000 where you can actually go ahead and use the two flute with uh, a little bit more success. Uh, I use two flutes as well but the two flutes uh, after a very short period of time end up uh, really melting the foam and you know the end of the bed ends up heating up and it just starts taking the foam and literally pulling it and spiraling it right on around so uh, but uh, for the Bosch cult guys the one flute does a beautiful job uh, running at like I said 125 inches per minute um, I use uh, here Cameron show that over here let's put some of that stuff on here you can see some of the stuff he's pulling off there and that's all the that's the stuff that's chewed off of the, you know, the scraps or whatever, chewed off of the bit. Uh, so this is uh, this is how it's done. Um, but I use Cam Bam to do my uh, to do all my cuts and everything. Uh, I also use a oh, what's the one? Um, the SketchUp one that they have. Uh, the flat guys came out with for the SketchUp. It works very very well. Um, we, uh, it's just worked really, really well the whole around, so it's, it's been a very good thing. But, uh, anyway, go ahead and go for it, guys. Uh, start cutting your stuff out. Um, I've always heard that it's very, very difficult to do. It is difficult to do, but as you can see, once you get the right setup, uh, it works pretty well. And as you can see, we're pretty well here. Uh, we're all good, golden, and my son's gonna go ahead and build his bloody wonder, and... We're going to have ourselves a good time. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Leave any comments down below. Please like. Uh, and please feel free to ask any questions. And I'll try to help you out as best I can. Um, I by no means am a pro at this. But, uh, you know, I'm just learning myself. So, uh, but I will help you out with anything that you guys have uh, when it comes to cutting this stuff. Because I've done a little bit of it. We'll talk to you later. Bye.